Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. Today's topic video is entitled, Time is Ticking Away. Now, what I mean by that is we don't know how much time that we have. Because with everything that's going on in the world right now, the violence and the crime and the crooked politicians and everything seems that people are giving in to a spirit of darkness. Now, a lot of the things that are going on in the world, there are some things that you can say are prophecies from the Bible. It predicted that stuff like this in the world that will happen. And we know that Jesus promised that he will return. And we know this because Revelation 22 says it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read a verse or a few verses for you so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. This is from Revelation 22, verse 12. Listen, says Jesus, I am coming soon. I will bring my rewards with me to give to each one according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. So right there, he says he's coming soon. Now, we don't know if he will come Why I'm recording this video or if we only have a few hours left. It could be a year. 10 years, a thousand years, only God knows. But what that means for us as Christians is that we need to be ready at all times. Because if Jesus returns right now, are you ready for him to return? Is your heart sold out for Jesus? Do you know for sure that Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Because if you question that, you don't know if you've truly sacrificed your life and given your life to Christ and he returned right now, there is a chance that you might be left behind. So we need to be thinking about these things. It's really important that we surrender our lives to God. And what I see in the world today is that there is watered down Christianity that is afraid of speaking up on issues that need to be talked about, specifically sin. So many churches nowadays are hiding talking about sin because they're worried about offending people because our culture today is all about don't offend someone because you don't want to get in trouble or you don't want to you don't want to have someone call you out on it but the gospel and repentance of sin can be offensive because if you're living a lifestyle of sin then that's the problem. Yes, we all sin, and Jesus forgave our sins, but only if you accept it. And I'm, I'm not perfect myself. I struggle with lust and anger. There's sins that I have that I'm working on, and I repent as much as I can to Jesus for those sins. And we all have it. But what I'm saying, time is ticking. We don't know how long we have. So we need a revival to happen as soon as possible. To have people wake up as Christians and spread the gospel all across the earth like the disciples did. Because if we don't, there will be thousands upon thousands of people that won't make it. And that will be on us. We need to do our part 
to make sure that the hands and feet of Jesus are moving in our society. Because right now, especially in America, it's not happening. There might be a small majority of people that are still doing it, but not enough. And that needs to change. And now I'm going to go ahead and read a verse out of Jude, uh, verse 17. But remember, my friends, remember what you were told in the past by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. For they said to you, when the last days come, men will appear who will make fun of you. Men who follow their own desires, those are the men who cause division, who are controlled only by natural desires, not by the Spirit. But you, my friends, keep on building yourselves up in the most sacred faith. Pray in the power of the Holy Spirit and keep yourselves in the love of God as you wait for our Lord Jesus Christ and his mercy to give you eternal life. So that verse right there shows us. People in this society are giving in to those spirits. And that is why I believe that we are closer now to God's return than ever before. So I ask again, brothers and sisters in Christ, are you living a watered, life, a watered down life for Christ? Are you putting God in a box and saying, well, I checked off a box and went to church on Sunday and that's enough? Or are you actually ready to get up and actually serve him and preach the gospel to many, many people? To tell your friends and your neighbors about Christ? Because like I said, we don't have time to waste. If you're listening to this and the Holy Spirit's moving and you feel that you are not in a spot where you have Christ in your life, all you need to do is surrender. You pray to him that you accept his gift of salvation and that you surrender your life to him and that you believe that he is the Lord and Savior of all. And only through him shall we be saved. This is the only way to salvation by faith. Because even, even people that are trying to do their best for Christ, the Bible says it's a filthy rag. So none of us deserve salvation. But God loved us so much that he sent his son to die on the cross for us. So, as you listen to this video, and after it's over, take a few minutes and think about what is being said, so that you will be ready when the clock runs out. God bless you all. I am praying for you, that you all find Christ and are ready for when he returns. Have a great week.